Hey everyone, it's Lexi and today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. I'm going to be showing you my kind of tea collection and kind of how I organize my tea and all that. So yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. So here is like, I'm kind of, this is like on the other side of my room. My bedroom's on the main floor so I can kind of get away with like keeping my tea in here. And I keep my tea in like this wooden crate I got at Joanne's Fabric and I kind of made it into kind of like a makeshift, makeshift bookshelf. So yeah, like I have my teas, like my main teas that I love to drink um, in the wooden crate there. And then on the top I have like little, like little tins and like cute little knickknacks that I'll get into and show you. Yeah, so here is kind of like keep my, like my main eight teas that I really like that I usually typically will buy in bulk. So over here we have, like all of them are David's tea. Um, I think I only have one tea vanity tea and that's in the kitchen. And so this one is movie night. And then in the back, I have Forever Nuts. Here I have Creme Caramel Rooibos. And then behind it, I have Toasted Walnut. Um, I have Birthday Cake, which is my favorite. And then behind that, I have O Canada. And then over here, I have Santa's Secret. And then I have Red Velvet behind it. And... These tins, um, I know you can't find them online, I've looked, and then the only way I knew that they made, like, these really big tins was when I kind of got a lot at the store. So if you ask, you can, you can ask for, like, the big tins if you really want them. Like, for the ones that I really like, I really prefer these ones just because you can keep a lot in there, and so, yeah. So up on top of, like, my the crate, I have, like, this little tea box that my aunt gave me and this cute little, um... I guess coaster type thing that smells really good. It has a teapot and then like a little bee on it. So on top of here is usually where I keep like my sample teas and then little infusers that I have. So here like if you order from David's Tea Online they give you samples. So these are just, I keep them here. Um, I have also like the tea filter kit just in here. Like these are good if I'm going out and I don't have access to like my tea mug so I usually will bring these out with me. I um, also have like a little um, tea scoop I guess as well. This one is from Teavana and I have this big tea infuser as well. I don't really use this one as much. I find like the holes like gets a lot of like because I drink a lot of the rooibos tea and they always go out from here so this one eh, if I'm traveling I'll bring that with me. And then I have like this also, like another little spoon that came with a cup that my friend gave me for my birthday. Here I also have some other like tea bags to put the loose leaf in. And then like I have two like little kits from, I think from the winter collection. And here is where I kind of keep my other teas that I really like but I don't put them in the big container. Obviously because I don't have very many, uh, I don't have much room for them. So here I have... Caramel corn, which is really good. It has like really big chunks of cinnamon in there. And then this one is cotton candy, which is good. I think it came out this summer and that's like a nice sweet one. So also like over my desk, I have like kind of like a big shelf. So on top of it, this is where I kind of keep my different like extra teas. So if I use one up then I have some extra. So here on the inside, I have like the tea little flyer things that kind of show teas that they have for each season. Um, I have the Tivana Earl Grey Cream, Caramel Corn, Orange Pico. So yeah, like I have like just basically, most of it is Santa Secret because I stock up on that one because it only comes out during Christmas time. So I make sure I kind of get in there. So yeah. So here we're in the kitchen and this is kind of where I keep obviously my tea kettle and but some of like my major infusers and then some teas that are for like the family. Yeah, so here is mostly like the infuser that I have, this one. So this one is the Ingenuity, and this one is like my favorite infuser. Yeah, so this one, like you, this is my favorite. I just love it because then you don't need like an infuser in your mug. So this one, like you put the loose leaf tea in here, you fill it up with water, and then when you're done, you put this over top of the mug that you want to put it in, and then it makes all the water come out, and then all of like the loose leaf tea that you don't want it stays in here. So this one is my favorite. I think you can get this for like 10 or $11 on Amazon. I know Tivana and David's Tea make their own, but it's like really, really expensive. 
So yeah, this one and it like this one I guarantee is just as good as the other ones. Like you don't need to go and splurge. And then here is my kettle. Um, this one is the Aroma is the brand. I'm not really sure like what type of kettle this is. I found it at Target. I don't like this one is kind of at the end of its life. It's not a very good one. In the first like couple of weeks of having it, this lid broke. So now like like this doesn't work. Like you can't take this off. You have to kind of use a knife. So I usually just will put like the filtered water in through here. So yeah, if you know of like a good kettle, then let me know. Like I'm on the market for one. Yeah, so here is where I kind of keep the teas that are kind of for everyone. Um, and I didn't have very much room for these tins in to keep them like my where I have them in my room. So this is like a spice rack that my aunt gave me. Um, it came with like these little things here, but I thought it'd be kind of cute to store like my tea tins in here. I It came with I think five of these. So I have like three empty ones that I'm not using right now. So this one is the Earl's Garden by David's Tea, which is a kind of good morning tea. Then also we have the Earl Grey Cream. This is one is the only one that I have from Tibana. I don't really like their teas that much. I like the ones that they do for Starbucks, but that's probably about it. And then this one, I'm not really sure what this one is. Oh yeah, so this is the Cold 911 by David's Tea. And then I have like a little infuser here for my travel mug. And so this one is Alpine Punch by David's Tea. Yeah, I can't remember the name of this one, but I'll like put it down on here when I figure it out. So, and then here I have like this cute little um, walrus infuser that my brother got me for Christmas, like a little silicone one. You just put the tea kind of in its body here. And then I have like the penguin one that was in my David's Tea Hall, I think from November. And this one's really cute. And then I have this orange pico from David's Tea. So just kind of like to the right here is like a mug from David's Tea and I just use like one of their tins. My mom kind of put that in there. I don't know why it's like that. But yeah, so this is where I kind of keep like some of like these clip infusers here. Like I said, I don't really use these anymore. Like I use them all the time, but then I got like that neat infuser. Yeah, so I just have like my spoons in here. I have one from David's Tea and then like the Tavana one. And then also I have like another infuser that's similar to the Penguin one. And then here... I got the um, peanut butter cup one. Like, I don't really like this one as much, so I'm trying to use it up. I don't know. I don't really like the taste of this one for some reason. And then, like, the last thing, I have, like, another infuser here. This is one I got for Christmas, and it's, like, a good one because it, like, I have the other ones for, that come with the David's Tea Mugs, but this one is, like, really big on the bottom, so it can fit with most cups, which is really nice. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below like some of your favorite teas. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!